Hey you guys, today I'm going to walk you through how I added Evie's scallop cutwork designs to the hem of a skirt. So I was always kind of intimidated by the cutwork designs because I wasn't sure how to line things up and I thought it would be super difficult, but it turns out it's actually pretty easy. If you're interested in machine embroidered cutwork, I would watch Evie's Craftsy class where she walks you through several different projects, she shows you how to line things up and how to fix your mistakes. I watched her classes before I started on the skirt and it was really helpful. To begin, hoop a piece of wash away stabilizer with the sticky side up. Score the backing paper and tear it away. This is an easy way to keep the sticky residue off your hoop. Make sure you print out your templates. You'll probably need more than one copy of each design so that you can use your templates to plan where the designs will go. You'll need to overlap the designs just slightly, about an eighth of an inch. When you are ready to begin stitching, use your grid to place your first design. You'll just be laying your fabric directly on the stabilizer without actually hooping the fabric. Stitch the first design sequence and cut away the excess fabric. Place another layer of wash away stabilizer underneath what's already there. It's usually a good idea to have that extra layer whenever you do heavy satin stitching. Go ahead and stitch the second sequence and make sure that you cut away enough of the fabric around the outline. Then stitch the third sequence. To line up your next design with the one you just finished, overlap your design about an eighth of an inch. You can probably see the ridge where the two overlap where my finger is. The black line on the template should be in the center of the satin stitching you just completed. When you begin stitching, always start your next design where the last one ended. You might need to rotate your design or mirror it to make sure that the design starts stitching at the correct end of the one you just finished. Place your fabric on your hoop stabilizer using your grid. Now here's a very helpful hint. Press start to stitch the first sequence, but stop the machine after the needle moves into the position. You have to be quick. If the needle lines up with the center of the satin stitching, then you know the design will line up. Stitch your first sequence and continue as you did with the first design. If for some reason your designs are slightly misaligned, you can always go back and use a very tight zigzag stitch to close any gaps. You can see my designs didn't line up quite right, so I chose to start my satin stitching slightly over to the left, so at least the two points were at the same height and I could go back and use a zigzag stitch to fill them in. I hope this video helps you feel a little more comfortable doing some cut work on your own and I can't wait to see what you make. If you're interested in Evie's cut work class on Craftsy, you can go to her website at abitofstitch.com and on the left side there should be a link that says Craftsy classes and that should take you to the site. Thanks for watching!